Today's video is going to be on should you oil the air filter? Well, certain air filters you need to oil and I'm going to explain why. So what part of the filter do you want to oil? Well, you're only supposed to oil the foam part, the foam filter. They come in a lot of different colors, green, yellow, black. And the reason you want to oil it is, is because the oil is what catches the dirt. Because the oil is kind of sticky. So you want to oil the filter so as it's sucking in that dirt, it's going to stick to the oil. And it's going to get trapped in the air filter. And then once it gets full, you either wash it out or you throw it away and you buy another one. Now some of these filters come tree oil, like this one for a lawn boy. It already tells you on there that it's been tree oiled. So this one you don't have to oil. You can see a little bit of oily residue on there in the bag already. So this one you just take out of the sack, put it right in the unit. Here's a pre-filter, so you're going to want to oil that. Here's another pre-filter. Some of them even come with a little love note that'll tell you, like this filter. Got a little love note in there. Saturate foam air cleaner element in engine oil. Squeeze in clean absorbent cloth to remove all excess oil. So we're going to show you how to do it too, the right way. This one comes with the foam wrap already around it. And it hasn't been oiled. And there's no love note in there to tell you. Should I oil it? Should I not oil it? Well, you can take it out of the bag, take this foam wrap off of there, and oil it, and you can put it back on there. And then there's some that tell you not to oil it at all. I don't know why. I don't think it would hurt. But this is what I do when I oil these. And I'm going to get some oil, and I'm going to show you. So you're probably wondering, Carol, Carol, what kind of oil do I use? You can use any kind of oil. You can use motor oil. You can use cooking oil. Doesn't matter. We just want that dirt to stick to some type of oil. Doesn't matter what weight it is, what grade, just as long as you got some oil. Now a lot of these will come in a plastic bag. If it doesn't come in a plastic bag, then get a plastic bag. Get a Ziploc bag, get a sandwich bag. Get some kind of plastic bag that you can put the filter in. And then you're going to need a rag. So open the bag and you pour some oil in. Not a lot. And then you squeeze it. Squeeze it through there. Now the reason you're doing this in a bag is for one, you're not going to get oil all over your hands. And then two, if your hands are dirty, you're not going to get the filter all dirty. And then look at it and see, you know, does it look like it's got enough oil on it? See, it, it soaked up all that oil that I poured in there. And if you think you need some more, pour a little more in there. Not going to hurt it. The only thing is, it's just you may go through a bunch of rags when you go to squeeze out the excess. So just pour a little bit in there. See how it how it acts. See how it soaks it up. And then take it out of the bag. And then if you got excessive oil in there, the rag will soak it up.
See, now it stays nice and clean because you didn't get your dirty paws all over it. So there it is, all pre-oiled, ready to go. There's your dinner. You got one of these little pre-filters? Didn't come in a bag? Get yourself a bag. Pour some oil in there. Do the same thing. So you get that thing. Soak up all that oil. Now you can kind of see on this one where there's some spots I missed. Throw it back in the bag, pour some more oil in there. Very important, change your air filter. If you're changing the oil, you need to change the air filter. Get a lot of customers that come in and they're only buying oil. I'm changing the oil on my mower. I go, what about the air filter? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I go, that's just as important. You don't want to be sucking all that dirt in. That's what wears the engine out, the dirt. The dirt is the abrasive. Think of dirt as sandpaper. All right. Then you do the same thing. Get a rag. You want to sop up any excess oil on it. Because we don't want all that excess oil to get on this. The pleated paper filter, you do not soak this in oil. This doesn't get the oil. Only the foam. This is a pre-filter. This is what catches the dirt before the main filter gets it. So this one's all pre-oiled, ready to go. And then we go with that pre-filter and air filter. So there you have it. That's why you oil the filter to catch the dirt, sticks to the sticky oil. Now by doing this, oiling this, this is gonna get dirty before this. So this part here, which costs a lot less than this filter, this is what prolongs the life of this one. So that's why it's important to change the pre-filter. So when you go to the dealer and you buy a new air filter, should also buy a couple of extra pre-filters because when this one gets dirty unless you want to sit there and wash it out in hot soapy water then dry it and then re-oil it it's a lot quicker easier and simpler to just take this out when it's dirty discard it throw it in the garbage go get another one oil it stick it back on you'll prolong the life of the inner filter just like on this one. Let's open this, this baby up. Now this one comes and it's not oiled. So this is going to get dirty and then this is going to get dirty. So just take this out. Throw it in the bag it came in. Pour some oil in there. Squeeze it through real good. Sop up the excess oil and then stick it on there. Because you can buy these pre-filters separate. So if you're buying the combo, you may want to get some extra pre's. Pick up a couple extra pre-filters. That'll prolong the life of this one. This filter is like $20. That pre-filter is like $3. So you can get two or three seasons 
depending on how dirty and dusty it is where you're mowing out of that. So there you have it. That's why it's important to oil that filter. And there's your dinner.